obviously the uh, progress of the war has not played out the way uh, the Russians expected, although they are uh, making more significant progress in the east and they do hold a, a significant part of southern Ukraine and the coastline. Um, now, first up in this hour, uh, Ukraine is expected to be accepted as a candidate to join the European Union today in what President Volodymyr Zelensky has described as a crucial moment for his country. The approval of the Kyiv government's application by EU leaders meeting in Brussels is just the start of what will be a years-long process. Tomorrow will mark four months since Russian President Vladimir Putin sent troops across the border in what he calls a special military operation. Jonathan Marcus is the BBC's former defence and diplomatic correspondent. A crucial moment, Jonathan, is what President Zelensky calls it. Uh, what's your assessment? Oh, hi, Mariela. I think he's absolutely right. I mean, it's a hugely important symbolic victory for Ukraine in its struggle to be uh, closer to the West and to uh, distance itself from Moscow. Uh, I think in the medium term, it uh, pits the European Union very firmly against Russia. Uh, remember, it was uh, Ukraine's association agreement with the European Union that prompted uh, uh, the Russian uh, intervention in Crimea in 2014. And although uh, Mr. Putin has recently been saying he doesn't mind uh, Ukraine becoming closer to the European Union, I'm not entirely sure that's what he really believes. Uh, the other thing to say, though, is that this could be the start of a very lengthy uh, membership process. I think, uh, I mean, it takes a lot of time. You know, you have to have serious reforms. You have to have an absolutely independent judiciary, uh, all sorts of anti-corruption measures, uh, something that's important in Ukraine. Influential oligarchs will have to be uh, have their uh, power curtailed. Uh, and if you look at other countries, I mean, it took Finland, I think, about three years uh, being a candidate to get into the European Union. That's amongst the fastest. Uh, it took Cyprus 14 years, I mean, in part probably because there were all the uh, problems of the uh, Turkish and Greek uh, Cypriot areas and so on. Mm. So it could take a very long time uh, before Ukraine becomes a full member, but it is nonetheless symbolically very important. Well, that's what I was going to go on to ask you, Jonathan. Uh, I mean, as you say, it could take a long time, but it, it seems to be more perhaps of a signal uh, to President Putin that the fight he's picked goes, goes wider than just Ukraine. What sort of reaction is likely uh, from the Russians? Because it would seem uh, that this is exactly as you just described, what he didn't want. Is it a sign that this war is really not going uh, the way President Putin originally envisaged it? Or am I being too hopeful here? Well, I think it certainly isn't going the way he in originally envisaged it, because he envisaged a very quick takeover, a toppling of the uh, Ukrainian government, and uh, that would have been that uh, from his point of view. Uh, obviously, the uh, progress of the war has not played out the way uh, the Russians expected, although they are uh, making more significant progress in the east, and they do hold a, a significant part of southern Ukraine and the coastline. Indeed, he, he but, but, but it, has pushed, it has pushed Ukraine closer to NATO and closer obviously uh, on the basis of today's announcement or potential announcement closer to the EU. Oh, I think you're quite right. I mean, it inevitably, inevitably pushes, well, it pushes Ukraine much closer to the West uh, in general. And I don't think actually NATO, it's going to be a NATO member anytime soon, if ever. Uh, but, uh, you know, and certainly not in the foreseeable future. Uh, but certainly the EU is also another important uh, Western institution, if you want to call it that. Uh, and it inevitably sends a signal that Ukraine's destiny, Ukraine's future, uh, is to be in the Western uh, liberal a democratic camp uh, and not to be part of some kind of area uh, of uh, uh, control and influence from Moscow under Moscow's tutelage and so on. So in that sense, it's a very important move. Jonathan Marcus, the BBC's former defence and diplomatic correspondent, thank you.